afraid of no ghosts. Hey guys, how's it going? It's your friendly neighborhood game ghost here again, and today I am bringing you a quick tutorial on how to install the Eagle Rising mod for Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord. I've been getting a few questions about it on Facebook and on YouTube, so I'm making this just to make it easier to explain. So we have here in front of us the Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord Steam page. So the first thing you want to be doing is making sure you are on the correct version. So the correct version for Eagle Rising at the moment is 1.7 beta. So if you go into just where I went then, so into your cog for manage and then properties and then betas. Straight there is all the betas starting all the way back from 1.1.1 all the way up to 1.7.0 just make sure you click that and that is the correct version there and if it is updating it will show up here what else we should probably be doing if you've been playing with any mods anywhere so you want to go into your Bannerlord folder so if you go into C Drive if you're using Steam anyway program files x86 all the way down to Steam and then Steam Apps and then into your common folder that is where all of your games are installed on Steam so if you go into Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord and the easiest way to fix any issue with the uh, um, with other mods that have been installed is just to delete that whole folder so if you delete that whole folder you can go to back to Steam, go to your little cog, open that up, back to properties, local files, and verify integrity of game files. And that will then download anything that's missing. I think if you just download your, if you delete your modules folder, you will get about 12,000 files missing, and it will just reacquire those and again the game will update and install those so next up we're going to have a look at the mod files on um, Nexus so this is the mod files on Nexus so here we have the Eagle Rising Bannerlord 1.7.0 that's the one we want so we're going to do a manual download so it is just manual download Harmony is also important, so you need to download Harmony as well. So just make sure you acquire both of those before going to the next part. So the next part is we have our folders. So we've got our downloads folder here. In here we have Eagle Rising Bannerlord and Harmony. Now we want them to go into these folders over here. So Harmony, you can just extract. It's going to play silly buggers with me. Uh, all right, fine. Uh, then you can just copy and paste over the top of that, and that will then go into there. Eagle Rising, what I usually do so. Sometimes you can do it that way. I prefer to actually go into my modules folder. So this is your common folder, Mount and Blade 2 Bannerlord. Modules is in there. So you go in there and then just extract here. Having the um, the zip folder in there will not affect the mods running. Um, it won't run it doesn't run as a as a file if it's just sitting in there doing nothing so what we'll do is we'll wait for that to download or um, install so basically that is now installed so you've got harmony and eagle rising so what you possibly will have to do now i don't because i've been doing it for a while is if you go into Eagle Rising, into the bin file, into the shipping client file, and then 
into CA Eagle Rising DLL. Right click on that, go to properties, and here, down here, could be an unblock or the DLL file is being blocked um, because it came from another computer or something. So just make sure you click that unblock button that is there. I don't have to because I've already done it before. Once you've done it once, I don't think you have to do it again. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong on that. But once you've done that, then the mod is ready to go. Basically, Harmony and Eagle Rising are in there. So we'll go back to our Bannerlord Steam page and click play. Now, if you go into your mods, and then you'll see Harmony and Eagle Rising, make sure that Harmony is clicked and is on top of every other mod. So these are all the native um, from Tail Worlds boxes. Make sure that they're all in the middle and Eagle Rising is at the bottom. Ignore those red exclamation marks. They are just telling you that the, the code in those mods is not made by Tail Worlds and you are using it at your own peril. So from there, it is a simple button of just pressing play. So once you've pressed play, the game will load. You'll know it's Eagle Rising because this will show. This is the Eagle Rising page, uh, loading page. And we're in. That's about that. So I would normally go into a sandbox campaign from here. I don't think I've actually tried playing a campaign for Eagle Rising. I imagine you probably could. So once you get to here, Vlandians at the moment are Dacians, Empire is Romans, and Batanians is Gauls. Or Celts, um, I'm not sure exactly, I think it's one or the other at the moment. <laughs> um, I know there is possibly Carthaginians coming soon, possibly Germans for Sturgeons, I am not sure. Oh, and um, the Kuzayits are actually the... Um, Sarmatians or is it Scythians? Scythians or Sarmatians? I don't know. The same. They're, they're north of the Danube, horse lords, and um, they're just as dangerous as the Kuzaids used to be. Anyway, so that is how you can install the mod yourselves. So hopefully you have picked up how to do that, and I will leave that tutorial here. Um, if you've enjoyed the tutorial, remember to leave a like, uh, leave a comment with any thoughts and or questions you might have, and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.